What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 Modded Edition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the next video. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. Gotta be kidding me. It's not my fault. Uh-oh. The vibro swords are doing something fishy. Relieved statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. Any reason why you shot down my vessel? Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the Polar Telos irrigation system. There is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. What are you doing out here? Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there. Armed and ready. Rhetorical query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here, we wonder? How many of you are there? Chiding statement. Oh, Jedi. There are as many of us as are needed to capture or kill our targets. Egotistical boast. And there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. Unnecessary threat. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies. If you want to fight, then come on. No, wait, hold on. Cancel that. Easy money. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Quick. Let's heal up. Do it again. Go, next one. Well, they were pretty even. It was three on three. 
I think I gotta get at a new melee weapon. These HK units are kind of weak. A little stabby stab action. One of them's got, I think, like a voice box or something. Not a voice box, something else. There you go, the control cluster. Alright, let's get you leveled up, my friend. There you go, bro. Good stuff. I'll give you the maximum. Should switch him out. Well, annoyingly, we don't have what we wanted. That's okay, we'll give him that. beodur has got the other one. Ah, uh, yes, we've got to make our way into the... Gotta go over here real quick. All right, guys, time for the plateau interior. Lay down your weapons and you shall not be harmed. Who are you? I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Very well. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deep to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If she is a Jedi, she will forgive. And if she is not, she will not care. You can't tell her. Please. I'm asking you. I don't want her to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this woman we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve her until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. 
You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Tell me what you've done with my friends first. Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are traveling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? Um, it was not my intention to come here, Aegis, to see you again. Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? Maybe you should admit that it was the Council's decisions that led to the Jedi Civil War. That was true, though. You and all the Jedi who followed Revan caused the Jedi Civil War. It was because the need to wage war burned within you. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. I also recall you, recall you wish me imprisoned or worse. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I had it, so I would never forget. I did not realize you still had it after so many years. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it. So I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. She is- I don't like Atris. She's a- she's a dick. Whatever your reasons, I want it back. Pretty neutral. It is not yours. It is a symbol of something greater which you no longer represent. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. Protect others not for battle. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. She is such an... It's funny, is because 
the Jedi can be kind of entitled at times. That's why if I was a real, like, if I was in this time and I could choose to be a Jedi, I said, I would be a neutral party because the Sith is ridiculous. Like, they just want to kill people for power. Like, do you really need to do that? You know what I mean? Whereas the light side is like, they, they're, they're quite entitled. They're all like, they're very goody two shoes, but they're so self-righteous that they call, they make, they can't, sometimes you have to make a call. You can't just sit in there com contemplating about it. I totally understand why a lot of people don't like the Jedi. Anyway. And the council's way was to meet aggression with surrender. I'll take my choice any day. Is the Jedi the, okay. Worlds that we had sworn to protect. Exactly. I'm going to say that. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war, and it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way, and you turned on us. I found myself. That's a great way to say it. No. You lost yourself. And you lost your way. It is the price of action without reflection. It is what we were taught as Jedi. On. So you're content to let the Outer Rim die for the sake of teachings. Our teachings do not mean we should stand by and watch others die. Hesitation and passi passivity are also are also strong emotions, ones we should guard against. Do not mean we should stand... Hmm, how should I say this? I don't want to be too douchey. Yeah, I agree with... That's a good one. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. Even the Mandalorians admit that Revan turned them back. Now I'm gonna say this. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in th the triumph of pacifism, surrender. And how many people died if the Landorians hadn't been stopped? If we hadn't stopped, then the Republic would have been destroyed. That's the truth. You do not know. Oh please, anyone who stepped outside the Jedi archives would know it. I think this is where she says, "How dare you?" What would the Jedi have fought then, or simply just meditate? Yeah, that's definitely. I have only my exp yeah exactly and neither do you and neither do you how dare you the Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave and Malachor 5 is where you should have died see that's not a Jedi thing your anger is because you secretly wish you'd had the strength to follow me what what do you mean I can see it in you you wanted to fight by my side but you're too scared to defy the council you're wrong just as you were when you defied the council I tire of Fighting with you. You lust for war and you always will, and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the council was correct, then why are you here? I'm looking for my ship. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hawk. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Structural progress was an accident, it's true. Ah, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Um. But I had no choice. No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. What do you mean? Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds, devastated by the Sith, will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. 
It's almost as bad as the Jedi letting the Outer Rim die in the Mandalorian Wars. So you still hold to your flawed conviction. And so do you! You hypocritical bitch! You are wrong. Dude, I can't stand Atris. So you still hold to your old, you know? What are you doing? You're still criticizing me for my decision. That's the same fucking thing. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. Dude, you, that's, oh God. I'm sorry, just hearing it again, as in a much older individual, just really understanding and hearing the weight of it. Like, here's the thing. I, I've, I've played this game so many times, but I've never truly been understanding of what they said until I become a little bit older. You can kind of tell, but I've always listened to what she said, but I never really realized the weight of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's saying, look at what she said. Ruin yourself with your actions, if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. What did you do? The council did the same shit. They literally were like, no, let's not. And honestly... If it was not for their action, people would have died, and that bring harm to others. So your lack of action, which in turn is an action, is the exact same. Sh I can't stand talking to Atris, man. I understand, though. This is this is like this is talking about Paragus, right? I understand we're talking about Paragus right now, but I didn't actually do it. I can't be blamed for being at the wrong place, and then the Sith blew it up. Obviously, she doesn't think the Sith. Yeah, I'm being blamed. But I'm so, it's so annoying listening to her talk all self-righteously like she's always right. The Sith? What do you mean? The Sith came for me on Paragus to kill me. You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. They extended... Okay. They intend to exterminate all Jedi everywhere. There are no more Jedi, except I. Like you, they turned from the Order. And now only I remain. Oh, if no. These yeah, you're some Jedi. Jedi. They will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. With other survivors of the Civil War. I said I was the last of the Jedi exile, and I did not speak falsely. There are others who were once Jedi. That no longer they don't they they will not take fuck you, Atris. God, I hate her so much. It's like I, I, what did I just say? I said I was the last of the Jedi. Okay, you know what I mean. Like people of the Order who might be targeted. I was targeted, and I'm not a Jedi anymore. So, you, judging from that, Atrus, don't give me all this technicality bullshit. Tell me, is there anybody else that could be alive who was a Jedi or not at any time who has connection to the Force, can still use the fucking Force, could be a threat to the Sith? Is there somebody like that out there? Say yes, stop with the bullshit. I'm so fed up with her and her fucking attitude. God damn. Well, I can track them out and maybe change their minds. You offer your aid. After turning your back on me, on the Council, the Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that, something you never seem to understand. The Sith have numbers on their side. Yeah, that's a good one to say. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust, perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship. Seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. I'll gather what help I can and assemble them. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove her mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something. I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I have never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, 
Do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. God. Honestly, man, I think it's cute that she stands and just, like, preaches teachings of the Jedi when she's not even following them herself. Like, she's got some tood. I was just being factual, fam. I was being factual. I was being intelligent. Anyways. The Secret Academy. I think we can speak to most of these guys. We have a good persuade, so I'm gonna save on a fresh one. Anyway. So there's there's some stuff I can do around here before we leave. Why have you approached me? Because you're a punk. Searching for my friends. You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. So they are prisoners. They were caged for their safety, until we could determine your intent, exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. Atten? He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger... His mask dropped into a stance we know well. Where could he have gotten it? I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Where is it? Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place. And permission to return if you remain in her service. Uh, the questions. Atris. The mistress. What of her? I want to speak with her again. She's meditating, and she does not wish to be disturbed. Your presence here has troubled her, and I hope you do not choose to trouble her further. Can you tell me? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order, and through them the galaxy how does she plan to do that we serve the jedi we do not question them okay. yet atris has told us that the work here at telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the rim that were destroyed when the jedi turned on each other she has said the jedi order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild she faults the teaching of many of the jedi masters as the spark of the jedi civil war atris has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed in the ways of the Jedi, they never would have fallen, and nor would you, Exile. And what does Atris consider proper training? That is unknown to me. I have never observed Atris to teach Jedi, nor would I wish to. Atris has chosen instead to focus her efforts on galactic recovery. Once the galaxy breathes again, disciples will come. She'll transmit her ignorance. She's true. She predicted you would say as much. She seems to know you quite well. Perhaps you are the one who knows nothing. Sounds like a challenge. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. Teaching. Oh, yes. We train extensively in various combat styles, and we have not had another target for some time. You may prove a pleasant diversion. Could we, I can use a good sparring match. Very well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic. It's a great way to get a Charney training. Since I'm female, I won't be able to get the handmaiden as my party member. She'll be she's able to teach you more stuff. But I do get another one who is much easier to make a Jedi. I remember I made him a Jedi by meeting him. It was funny. What's going on? Okay, so that that stupid thing keeps going black screen. So I have no idea if I'm even able to do it. It won't load. So what I'm gonna do is um. Sorry, I skipped through these. I say that. She predicted you would. 
All right. Anyway, I have some other questions. What do you What do you do here? We serve the Jedi, and we watch. Are you training? I assume you meant no insult. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy that the Jedi possess, we are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. Why would it be an insult? We have taken an oath to never follow the teachings of the Jedi, only to watch those of the Order and carry out Atris's will should it be necessary. Atris believes the new Jedi Order that shall arise here will need to be guarded and watched by those not touched by the Force. She thinks it will give balance. And who watches you? Atris is the one we serve, and she guides our actions. And there aren't any others here? Atris is the only Jedi here, this is true. But the Mistress will bring others in time. She just won't. You are no Jedi. Atris has made that. He's such a follower. When you went to war, you gave up the. Ma yeah, whatever. Other questions? Why do you look the same? We share the same father, and we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. But the handmaiden who challenged us when we arrived, she looks different. As I have said. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. It's a different set. If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. Why? I'm just I asking questions. Your presence only upon orders of the mistress. She did not order me to endure your questions. You. All right. Um, that's it for now. All right, well, I can't go up to Atris, so I'm not even going to bother. God, they're so touchy. I want to be able to do that combat training. It helps. I mean, it's good for unarmed fighting, but... It's it's honestly kind of a pain in the ass. Like, everybody here is just so goddamn touchy. As, as I had a blowout over Atris. The Great Jedi Robe. Ion Energy Cell. That's a, that's a modification for a lightsaber. Brontium light battle armor. Can't wear any light battle armor. Could be good for one of our squad. You do find some goodies here. Check this out. Why have you? Oh, sorry. That's awesome. Looks like the star map. All right, we don't want to go here yet. There's T3. I can't go to him yet. I'm going the wrong direction. It all looks the same, guys. Did you find what you came for? Um. Past made this place her home, didn't I expect to see her again? I felt as much. Quite strongly, in fact. I suspected there was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once. Something that hangs upon you still. Uh, woman here is a Jedi, Atris, one of the council. I wanted to punish me even further. I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned, unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. One of the council. There is a Jedi here, perhaps. In that you are correct. Yet there are no students. And this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Atris, Atris plans to heal the galaxy and rebuild the Order. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. I yes. knew the handmaidens weren't student, but I didn't realize they were able to feel the Force. Yes, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well. 
even if they were force sensitive. You try to use the Jedi mind trick on him? Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly or when there is nothing to be gained. Um. Let's talk about it on the way out of here. Very well. Let us depart. Uh, is that okay? He looks so cold. He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. All right, then. You can sleep on the ship. Let's go. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. Uh, there's nothing to apologize. Are you sure you're okay? You have to say that. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? You gotta get some experience or some influence from him. Jedi Academy, concealed in Northern Politilos. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks... Part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet wide, like the one on Coruscant. I've been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Are you well enough to travel? I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Um, come with me, then I can use your help. Very well, General. Just say that. Just to get the influence with him. Very important. They still have their weapons. Do I have my weapons? Yeah, that's mine. It's kind of weak, but it's some. I remember... Like, I hope I can actually find them in the duel. Maybe the spawn is what's giving me a problem. Survey... Oh, jeez. Okay, well, what's the meditation band? Will and Wisdom. That's a Persuade and Charisma. Stealth Field Enhancer. What's my awareness at? Let me look. Uh, it's at 17. So I'll, I'll, it'll drop to 16. I think we'll go with that. The meditation band. Wait, doesn't... Wait, isn't there a re... Oh, why can't she wear it? It requires medium armor. That's why. What's the difference? That is immune to poison. This gives you constitution and a regen at the same time. Alright, we're good. Um, I think this is where the battlegrounds are. Yeah, so I'm gonna save it. We'll try again. I'm gonna do a bit of looting. I don't know. I don't think they really care if you go through their shit. It's always that same guy on the screen. Like, who is he? What does he want? Is that the G-Man? What I should have done was loot this place first. Um, I might have to try different armors on Atten. And I think it's a 1v1 for now. Exchange utility belt. That might be good. See, that's a bit of everything. That is a really good thing. We lose... Uh, we lose... Wait, what is, this gives us awareness too. What does this do? It's computer use, strength, dexterity... Demolitions, repair, and security. Whereas this one does a awareness of two and a stealth of four. Uh, dexterity of one. This does... Dex I think overall it's better. We lose the stealth boost. And let me see. Where's the stealth? Stealth is at 19 with that big boost. We're going to lose four of that. So that's going to be um, 15. And But we're going to gain uh, 18 there. Seven... We do lose this by two, I think, right? So that'll drop to 14. Uh, that's going to stay. Repair is going to... I don't know if it gets boosted. Security is going to go up, I think. Let me look at it again. Oh, where is it? Demolitions, repair, and security. So really, that's three and three to security, but we gain a strength. I think this is overall better. I'll keep it handy just in case. You never know. Some of them don't have anything. But yeah, this is where all the handmaidens take a nap sausage. Med pack. Oh, 
Well, they don't care. I'm just like looting through their shit. Reaction system. What's that all about? Dexterity of three. That sounds extremely good. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and save it again. I'll save on 44 because we just got here. Now let's talk to the handmaiden. Hopefully she'll let. Oh, this is actually handmaiden. You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. What did she say? She said, "You betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself." Oh. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Um, and why is that? Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. That doesn't explain why I stopped fighting after Mandalorian Wars. Atris says... When the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with them because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. Anything else? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. <sighs> expressed feelings? Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. So Atris does not know her own heart. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. Then that might make the truth come out? Perhaps. It may prove truer than convert battle. The words are swept away. The words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. I'd like to ask you something. You may ask. Uh, you look different. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. Same father? I do not wish to discuss it. Man, no offense. There's no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. A sensitive subject? It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. Let me ask you something else. Never mind. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Difficult thing to describe. Please, I wish to know. Um. I like the warmth of the sun one. It is like a cloud, a mist that drifts from living creature to creature, set in motion by currents and eddies. It is the eye of the storm, the passions of all living things turned into energy, into a chorus. It is the rising swell at the end of life, the promise of new territories and new blood, the call of new mysteries in the dark. I see. Thank you both. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. Take me out and ask them. All right, I want to have the fight, though. Um. Crap. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I if it's gonna glitch out on me, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fight anybody. I'll try, but I might have to take an L. It's just going black screen on me. All right, guys. So once again, it didn't work. So. Um. It's uh. It sucks that I got screwed like that. I can't. I can't fight anybody. I mean, that gave you experience and, of course, no weapon fighting. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Which, honestly, when you think about it, is fine. I don't really hand-to-hand -hand that much. Uh, so, it sucks that I can't get it. Maybe a mod I have is, is interfering with it. That's the only thing I could think of. Uh, one of the mods I have installed. 
I don't know what it would be though that's causing the issue. Because like, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's just get, let's get off ship here. Bounce. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebon Hawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. They didn't wipe you, did they? Look, I'm glad I found you. Wait, what are you talking about? What would you want with your memory core? Let's get the let's get back get you out of there first. We'll see you at the Ebon Hawk. Alright, get that influence. Now we should be able to make us some stuff. See, sometimes light side influence is mandatory. Like, just don't be a dick to people. That's kind of my goal right now. It's not so much a... I don't think it's worth getting... I mean, I like the Grey Jedi role, but suits the character. I hear you. What is it? But for now, we need a lightsaber. Right now, I'm going to keep repping the initiate armor. It's a little bit better overall. I never liked it, though. The initiate armor was kind of ugly. So hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, quickly see what's better. So seven two, and then all the, of course, the, the stuff here. Seven two, seven three, eight and two. So it's, it, it might be upgradable. So wait, wait, let me see this. What's what's currently wearing? Sonic immunity attribute down. We can just, we can just underlay it. So I'm gonna give him that. Is, is there a new weapon yet? No, he's got, he's got one weapon fighting, guys. He's a duelist. All right, speaking of which. All right, so we're gonna take off. Let's go to armor. Uh, let's take off the. Uh, what was he using? The Chinese is seven three. Sorry guys, the Chani battle armor. That's ten and one. It's heavy though. Uh, light battle armor. We're gonna none. None except. All right, let's see what we can get for bronzium. So I think I had the sound dampening. Get extra percentages. That's gonna give him a well. Stealth of two. The attribute damage is what I did. I can do a stealth boost, but... I'm starting to wonder if I should do the Sonic. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because I'm the one doing the stealth right now, right? So... Range, new stuff. What else? Two to 14 for that Sonic rifle. Two to 14, but hold on. 4 to 15 arc. I haven't upgraded that, so let's go back. What's been upgraded? This thing isn't that good, so I'm just going to nun it. And then the blaster rifle, I think, has been upgraded as well. We're going to nun it. And then, so it's a 1 to 12. So what was better off the 2 to 14? is our, 4 to 15 is the best. But we can only upgrade it a little bit. 5 to 16. It's already a better rifle. I don't know why it won't let us do that, but... Here's what we'll do, though. Hold on. Let's back out. Which one was the other one? That's 5 to 16 now. 2 to 14. Yeah, so you just can't use it. That's the only thing. I still think it's better for him. I hear you. So let's go ahead and equip it for... Oh, wait. No, he's using that. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, anyway. I think it's time we got out of this place, though, guys. Karkin and Gauntlets. Isn't that like a damage... Saves all. I currently have a strength bonus. They both have insulated gloves. I think I'm going to increase her, her... Well... Tell you what. Let's go Atten. Atten can wear the Infiltrator. And she will wear the Karakan, Karakan Gauntlets. That seems fair. Good. Good stuff. Wait, did I open that? Yeah, that's where I found the gloves. Sorry, I couldn't remember. So many little things. This is a lab station. I haven't really needed a lab station. Obviously, the better your treat injury, you can make better, like, implants and things like that. So, I'm going to do a quick look around. And we're going to get off this planet to our first location. Lornan implant. What's that do? 
uh, immunity to that. I'm going to stick with the critical hits, I think, guys, for now. There might not be anything else, but we'll take a look anyway. We're going to have quite... Oh, no, that won't let me back there. We got a few people to chat with, so when we hop on the Ebon Hawk, we're going to do a little talky talk. Now, here's my wonder. I, I wonder if I should do... Oh, that's all we can do. Okay. I don't know if I should do Narshadaw first or Dantooine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8000. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Noxil. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't he's violent and hit Q8000. Wait a minute, hold that style, it's style Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash. To bed intruder, got that glocking, got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.